My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Attention serious collectors. We have got a rare gem right here. This is a 1972 W car. The W is in the VIN number means it's a real LS5 454 SS convertible. They made about 70 of these. This is number 24 in the registry. And there's about 35, I think, accounted for. And they've been searching for years. So this is a rare, rare car restored to concourse condition. Only 170 miles on it since it's been finished. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study the pictures. That's where you'll find the price, not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars and they're all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, tops down, let's go for a ride in the 72 SS454 Chevelle. Gorgeous colors too, Sequoia green with the white and the white interior. It was born that way, of course. Um, so this car was stored from 1983 till about 2009, and that's when the gentleman got the car. Uh, he literally says he put uh, all of his heart and soul into restoring this car back to concourse uh, factory condition, and it shows. It's beautiful. He finished it in 2012. It was then invited to the McCacken Show. That's a, a concourse event held here in Chicago. And it was in the, uh, I think they called it the showcase display. And that's for premium rare, it's for the best examples of the rarest cars, something like that they worded. And uh, we have the certificate and pictures uh, when it was in that special uh, display. So anyway, the body was off the frame. The underneath's one of the nicest I've seen. It's amazing underneath. Every single component is restored and detailed and it looks factory. They even went as far as putting all the factory assembly line decals uh, properly in their uh, places. So the whole front end has been apart. The steering, the suspension's all rebuilt. It has correct spiral shocks at all four corners. Uh, the rear suspension's all rebuilt. It has the F41 suspension, which is sway bars front and back and box control arms in the rear has the correct exhaust system, even with resonators in the back and the cowbell tips, uh, all new fuel system, the tank, the lines, the straps, all of that's been replaced. You look up at the bottom of the motor, it's spotless, the starter, uh, even has a, a reproduction oil filter. Turbo 400 automatic trans, also all, you know, all, all of it, the linkage, everything looks like new. Uh, the drive shaft's restored. It even has the uh, assembly line markings painted on it. A 12 bolt rear end. So underneath this car is just spectacular. Of course, the brake system's all redone. It has disc brakes in front. E-brake assembly's all new. The body is amazing. Laser straight, uh, glass finish. It looks like you could reach right into it. It looks like I could shake my hand. The metal flake is laid out evenly. Uh, the clear coat is polished like glass. We have a hairline you'd have to look for. It literally looks like a piece of hair, and they all get that. The convertible's flex. There's a seam right there. They all get that. Stripes are painted on nicely. All the chrome tail lights all redone. This is all nice and square. There is not a crack on this side, but give it time, and eventually there will be. This is all smooth. Even as I'm feeling it, it feels slick like Teflon. Look, the body gaps are all real nice. All new trim, the emblems, the moldings, all this all around here, the windshield. So it came with cowl induction. Uh, that's part of the factory options on this car. Reprodu uh, reproduction wide oval Firestone tires. The wheels are all restored. Everything up here, the lenses, bezels, grill, bumper, all of this uh, is new. Hood pins are new. This is concourse restored in here. This is fantastic. 
We'll get right back to that. This side's just as nice, all smooth and nice and straight. Wonderful. No bubbles, no issues. It's fantastic. The interior is completely restored. I mean, he sent the gauges out and had them restored. He sent the radio out, had that restored. If you look up under the dash, it's immaculate. Like the parking brake assembly, the fuse block, the wiring, all of it looks brand new, even up under the dash where no one's going to see it. The interior, of course, the cushions, the upholstery, headrests, all of that, door panels, all been redone. The white convertible top is like new, is new. Trunk compartment's been spatter painted with a gun, perfectly clean metal, so it's done real nice. There's no overspray on any of the lenses or anything, or housings. Uh, it has a matching wheel and tire, it has a complete uh, jack assembly. Interior lights work, center consoles, mint, has a tilt wheel, has the factory gauges, factory AM, FM radio, the GM seat belts are pristine, heater controls, mirror, everything in here is excellent. Door jams are beautiful. So the motor, when he got the car, it had no motor or trans, so there is a 454 motor in here and the correct turbo 400 trans, they are not VIN number matched. But everything in here is concourse. The hoses, the heat shields around the spark plugs. He said there's a lot of uh, hard to find one year only parts in here. Um, I know there's little uh, valves and actuators uh, on the manifold. Those are hard to get. This has the smog equipment, the alternator, an actual Delco battery, not a fake topper, but an actual reproduction battery, uh, reproduction plug wires. Power steering, power brakes, cadmium plated booster, uh, the squirter system's all hooked up. It's immaculate in there. We've got a box full of parts here, and honestly, I didn't know they were in here, so I don't know what we've got. Now it's got extra parts, extra manifold. Oh, I'm sorry, this doesn't belong to this car. I also bought a 69 Corvette from the same guy. And he put the parts in this trunk. Those don't go to this car. Start it up for you. We just got this car. That's why there's still stuff in the trunk. So it still has to go through the shop and be serviced. Man, is it nice to look at. GM hose. You can see the pictures on our website of the trunk compartment. It's, it's one of the nicest trunks I've seen. Couldn't get any better. So he did restore the car exactly how it was. He didn't add the conduction or the gauges or take away anything. This is how this car left the factory. Paint job's probably a little nicer than it was when it left the factory. So you got a rare, rare car. It's in the registry. It's a real deal. It's right in the VIN number. Rare and desirable car. $100,000 restoration. You got a great piece here. Rare that you would see another one. Go to volocars.com. I just gave you my impression of this car. If you have any specific concerns or questions, that's where you can find the salesman. There are ways to contact the salesman. They will help answer your questions. They'll make financing, uh, shipping, and all the paperwork real easy for you at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.